Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Last week I was just talking about this LoRa module for the M5 Stack Core. Well, I just received my second core in the mail with two of these LoRa 868 modules. Now, unfortunately, this module isn't represented in UI Flow, so you're going to want to go to the download section, download the M5 Stack library. That takes you to this GitHub site where, of course, you click on code, download zip, and then let's talk about setting up the Arduino IDE for M5 Stack. First, you're going to want to go sketch, include library, add zip library, and browse to your download location and select the M5 Stack Master Zip. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you select the M5 Stack Core ESP32, and you're going to want to select the correct COM port as well. Let's look at the example sketches that we're going to use here. Examples, M5 stack, modules. I'm going to use this, even though it says LoRa 433 and I got the LoRa 868, we're going to use the LoRa sender and receiver programs. There we go. Now it's important to note with these sketches that you're going to want to select the correct frequency for your board and region. Here in the United States, 915 megahertz is accessible and that runs on this 868 LoRa module for the M5 stack. So then we're ready to upload these to our units. So here is the LoRa module. Now on the back, you can see there is the built-in antenna right here, and that connects to the board there. Or you could pop that off and pop this connector on to access the external antenna port. Now they call this M5 stack because you unstack the bottom plate, line up the pins with the socket, and then stack on your LoRa board onto the bottom plate. Then we're going to stack the interface back on. Get that all into place, press it together, and there you go. So we've uploaded these sketches from the Arduino IDE, and here you can see the sender simply says that it's sending. And here's the receiver. And it simply says, receiving hello with the count and the signal strength. One of the disadvantages of this particular sketch is that once the receiver receives enough packets, they just scroll off the screen and it doesn't follow, so you don't get to see any more packets getting received. So we still obviously have a lot of work in the Arduino IDE to develop this program further, especially as I'm going to include this GPS module. So stay tuned. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.